<coughs> Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing. Testing. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Testing. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, 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 Hello, Miguel. Are, are you there? Can, can you hear me? Yes, I hear you well. How, well. how are you? Uh, I'm fine. Uh, and you? I'm, I'm good. I'm okay. I'm, you, you have new uh, headphones? They're, they're cheap 128 Grievna headphones. But very big. I, big. Big, douche of uh, Bahatova, like, I don't know. It's very big, yeah. very big. The bigger, look the like, better. Uh, how to say it? It's look like... Um, uh, it's pilots. Pilots. Like, pilots. Like, <laughs> you remember uh, how, uh, how, how to say it? It's like look uh, rich, look for million, or something like that. No, no, I, I, I didn't know. I, I don't know. What, okay. What's the thing? Rich, very big and <laughs> rich, rich, very expensive looking. Um, ah, hi. Uh, hello. hello. So, hi. Uh, someone, please uh, watch your microphone there. I I hear someone. There. All right. Okay. Good. It's better now. So today's topic is about family and friends. I I like this topic because uh, I think family is important. So who are we gonna start with today? Who do I know? Uh, talk, talk, talk. Alexander. Hello. Are, you, you were hi. Uh, you were actually here last week as well. So tell me, uh, I don't know. Is family is family important for you? Tell us what you think. Uh, yes, uh, of course, uh, family is important for me, and I think uh, it's important for everyone. Um, I, 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 go ahead. Family is our home. <laughs> Family is our home, sure. It's the peop people we depend on. But, uh, okay, for example, uh, how, how often do you see your family? Uh, uh, I see my family every day. Oh, every day. <laughs> 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 and, and there's nothing wrong. I mean, okay, you're, you're in Russia, right? Last time I... I, I yes. yeah, right, you're in Russia. Now, the, the average person... Uh, when do they move out of the family? What what age usually? Do you, do you, do you remember? What age do they leave the family? Their family. 
What age? Age. Age. Um, what age? Uh, Michael, uh, Michael, you know uh, Russian and Ukrainian people have a, uh, it's, um, uh, it's like a flat question. Uh, <laughs> you, you understand it? No flat I, question. I, I understand, but I mean people have to leave, or do they inherit their, 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 their didushka or babushka's dom? Do, do, is that how it works? Because I, I got one guy in Kiev, I said he's got a new apartment. Wow, he's only 22. He has a new apartment. How did he get a new apartment? It's, his grandfather died, so he got a new uh, an, an apartment. Like uh, I don't know. It's it's because it's very expensive. So so Al Alexander, I, I I don't know. I mean, uh, okay, fine. I'm not gonna ask you what what age. Okay, uh, what do you usually do with your family? Do you go out on special occasions? Uh, do you do anything together? Maybe go for shishlik. I don't know. You tell me. Uh -huh. Yes, Shashlik. <laughs> uh, we uh, we are having uh, dish, uh, no, dishes. Yes, we are having dishes together. For example, we we uh, we uh, ca we celebrate uh, holidays together, and we help each other uh, if we need. So, so maybe, maybe staying with the with parents, being close to them, maybe that's good, so that you help your parents. What do you think, Luba? Helping parents is that good? Uh, you, do you mean uh, when I help to my my parents, or they help me? The both the both parents are good, I would say yes. No, yes. but the thing it's, is, it's right. It's right way to. To leave, I, I I suppose so. Uh, okay, but but in North America, our our problem is is that, uh, like I don't know, maybe in Germany they they leave their their mm -hmm. house or their flat when they're 18 years old, and and they leave their parents alone, and and nobody can uh, the parents have no help. But in mm -hmm. Russia and mm -hmm. Ukraine, uh, kids still help their parents. You know what I mm -hmm. mean? Mm -hmm. so, oh, 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 vice versa. Parents help uh, their kids, uh, and uh, probably their um, how is it grandsons and granddaughters as well. So up to the very late age, so to say. Mm, okay. I, I mean that relationships between um, parents and um, children um, in our countries are more, more close, closer than in compare with um, European families. A a absolutely, absolutely. I, I see it being a little bit lost because I've been watching uh, some things like from Moscow, and like it's it's like it's, it's kind of ending ending up like our our society in in North America, which isn't good because you know in 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 Canada we put our our old folks in an old age home. Do you know what an old age home is? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, how, mm -hmm. how do you say this in Russian? Дом престарелых. Дом престарелых. Yeah, дом. Okay, because I, I, I remember words, but I don't remember how to say them. Okay, that's that's my problem. <laughs> so uh, Alexander, oh, this old age home. Could you ever think of putting your parents in an old age home? One of these old old places. I mean, can can you tell us? I I don't want. Uh, to old home. What did you say about? Uh, not not you, but your parents. My could, you, pa could, you, could you imagine putting your parents? No, in, I, I could I couldn't imagine putting my uh, parents to old home. Yeah, <laughs> but, I think but it's uh, Michael. Uh, it's not uh, for Russian people. Maybe it's uh, in in Europe or on, in America. <laughs> people do something like that. But but, but still. But, it's uh, uh, very unusual for Russian uh, because we haven't uh, old age house. We we have probably we have, but it uh, not, there there are not a lot of uh, such ha houses, and they are not as of a good quality. I think uh, like in in Europe, yes, mm -hmm. in compare with Europe. Mm -hmm. In Russia, maybe it's. It could be if uh, 
old people uh, so ill and they uh, need to uh, to care from personal special personal and then then they could be uh, put it in old old uh, homes old old home but the the way i look at of it is that your parents raised you up so you know why don't you help them i mean even in in ukraine i'm pretty sure the same thing in russia is that like a, a lot of uh people in university their their parents to hanko shikai okay uh, a, a lot of parents help help their kids out they give them ho money horoshi they give them money right so i i think in return you should help your parents mm -hmm. luba i i don't you agree with me i i'm totally i i totally agree with you with this so the question is how in our in in well i cuz i'm i'm from the west i'm from canada right but my background is ukrainian i don't understand how how can people put their 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 parents in an old age home like i mean it, for me i would be scared i, I god knows what would happen to them? That's what would be thinking in, in my head. I would be thinking about that. What about you? About me? About, mm -hmm. like, that's what I would be thinking. That's the reason why I would never put my folks. Mm -hmm. Fol folks means, like, your, your parents. I'm talking about parents. That's why I would never put my p parents in an old age home, because I would be scared of what could happen to them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, do you, do you know what happens to people in the old age homes in Russia? Do you ever hear? Because I could tell you some stories about Canada, but do you hear anything bad, or can you can you describe anything maybe in over there? No. Mm, uh, I have just watched some programs, and uh, I believe that uh, old people live in such um, old aged homes not 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 good. Probably in in Russia, it's so um, uh, so uh, old people get uh, like like um, money. I, I don't know how 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 is it in English? P pension, pensia. Pensia is pen. Yeah, it's the same. Closer, uh, it's the same. Uh, and um, this money goes to the government. And I suppose uh, these old people must be cured better than they are cured in real, in reality, so to say. Well, in they, Canada, they didn't. They they don't get uh, mm, appropriate uh, caring about them. Appropriate care. Mm -hmm. appropriate, appropriate care. care. Mm -hmm. Well, well, in Canada, I, I heard that the the the, the nurses. Uh, they beat up the people. They they don't care for them. Uh, they 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 leave them for hours and hours alone in Canada. Mm -hmm. Alexander, mm -hmm. could 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 you could you imagine that in a, in a country like Canada, where the nurses they they leave the the people alone. They 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 beat them up with sticks. Maybe you think it's fake. No. I I couldn't imagine anything about Canada. I I just uh, imagine this country with a uh, hockey team. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm thinking the same thing. So it's scary. But but to go on to something positive now. Uh, okay, so Luba, what what do you do with your family? Anything special you could tell us? No, anything special? Yeah. Well, what, do you, what do you usually do with your family? How, how, do you have a big family, small family? Um, so nowadays I have my own family. Uh huh. Um, I mean, me, my husband, and our daughter. So um, my husband works hard all every day long, and uh, he is very often in a business trip. So, but when he is at home, we try to spend our time together. We can go. To the country, so and n nothing special. <laughs> Probably yes, nothing special because of lack of time. Mm -hmm. But you know what the problem is in, in our in Western society is that what I see is that the people don't have enough time. There's mm -hmm. no time. Busy, 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 busy. 
in, in the case of most of Russia, because I, I we can't compare Moscow because Moscow is like its own country. I, I guess they can say sometimes, right? I guess in in other parts of Russia, is it very busy or is it more relaxed? How how would you describe the atmosphere of other cities in Russia? Are people always busy as well, or is it different? I suppose it's it's different. No, we live in more calm uh, region. Mm -hmm. I mean, in in compare with Moscow, of course, but but our region is more calm and <laughs> has less money, <laughs> so to say. But yes, and we we have not a big opportunity to go somewhere. Um, I mean, for a long distance. I understand. But mm -hmm. and, and Alexander. What do you think? More more calm in environment from where you are. Are people I, always busy? How do they? I agree with Duba. It's the, it depends on uh, region where you are. Uh -huh. uh, for example, in Moscow, people very uh, busy. They yeah, in hurry, in hurry always. In hurry, yes. They try. They try a lot of time on uh, on trip to the job and home, um, and. And in, in other uh, regions, uh, it's more calm. Uh, then a uh, city is less. Mm -hmm. uh, then it's more calm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, well, you know, the, the other thing is, is maybe... I can hear myself a little bit, but I'll try to continue. Uh, maybe in Moscow, again, it's not going to be as, as family-oriented. People are not going to be doing things with family. And, and we see the same thing... Uh, like where I'm from in Canada, is, is that people, you know, they're they're always on social networking, they're always on Twitter, they're always on WhatsApp, they're always using these social networking. They're talking to people that they don't know, and I think, you know, you could be doing more by speaking with your your relatives, your your family, people that you know, because fake people really don't don't matter in life. And and as you can see from where I'm from, uh, people. People aren't real; they're they're fake, mm -hmm. and it, it, it's different. But I'm thinking from where you guys are from, uh, do you have the same problem where people are are using like more social networking than spending time with their friends, or is it different? You think? I'll start with Luba. I think it's a little bit different. Um, I'm not sure, but I, I would like to believe in it. <laughs> yes. Because because because, because of, of ahead. our go ahead go ahead sorry ah uh, uh, because of our like mm, of our n probably natural na natural features uh, I mean um, family means a lot for 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 Russians because it's it's our support especially in difficult situations I I can rely on my nearest and dearest. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but you know the problem is, is we're lo I think we're losing too much social networking. We live on there. What about you, Alexander? Uh, could you uh, explain question? Uh, what do you mean? Uh, uh, if uh, you want to ask about uh, how many people. Uh, uh, um, Communicate with uh, relatives uh, by uh, social network or in no, real? no, 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 not. I, I'm talking about talking to people you don't know on the internet, like that you will never meet. You know what I mean? We we have this problem now where people are are starting, uh, you know, talking to to each other and people they don't know, you know, to make themselves feel better. And even at like at, at a McDonald's in Kiev, I saw uh, a lot of teenagers. Uh, they're with other friends, but they're not talking to each other. They're using their cell phone. I don't understand this. Why would you use your cell phone uh, to talk to other people when you're at McDonald's with other people, your friends? Don't the people in front of you are, are more uh, important than the people on a stupid uh, phone? Do you, do you understand what I mean? I didn't understand. Uh, it's not clear. Alexander, uh, Michael uh, say, said uh, 
that uh, so so uh, that uh, uh, people meet each other in McDonald's. Uh, okay, it's uh, uh, in the restaurant, and uh, uh, they don't uh, talk w w with each other, and uh, they only uh, see on uh, their smartphone and use and maybe send message to each other. <laughs> <laughs> like, I uh, uh, I w I saw a uh, naughty. Um, I notice on the cafe uh, that in here uh, Wi-Fi is not working. Uh, speak to each other. Speak each to each other. <laughs> I, I like that. I, I like that. That's that's awesome. Uh, yes, we often uh, can see in cafes uh, people uh, do, uh, doesn't speak to each other. They watch to their mobile uh, phones. Or, and other devices. Yes, we can see this. Well, I, I think I think in the in the road that we're going to have communication problems with people because people won't won't know how to speak to each other. I mm -hmm. think this is going to be a big problem. Luba, what's your opinion? Yes, I see this problem as well, and um, um, probably in Russia it's it's also it it happens the same. Um, for instance, my sister, mm -hmm. uh, when she comes to visit me, she spends <laughs> enough time. She spends enough time, a lot enough time near computer, talking with her. But with real people, with real friends, that he, who, whom he meets every day, and she, she continues she, she, to communicate. She, she, yes, she, she continue communicate with them in social network. <laughs> but, but, but how, how often do you see her, your, your sister? Not so often. She studies in another one city, uh, probably oh, nice once in, the, in, in one or two months. One months. or two months. So don't. <laughs> <laughs> You need uh, to uh, add your sister to our lessons, and we can uh, uh, we, we can talk. <laughs> with I was other. trying, yeah, Michael. Because... I, you know, I was trying. She she speaks a little bit English, but mm -hmm. she she she, I... she says she has enough English in, at at university. I can give an example. Uh, <laughs> for, um, uh, my sister live uh, near the in the near room and sometimes we uh, do, we don't go to each other and we send SMS to each other. <laughs> and, <laughs> and it, You're wasting money here. You're wasting money. <laughs> <laughs> and it often uh, happens in uh, in other places, in other people. I, I know too. This is going to be very... But, hey, but who's in my class? V Vitaly. No, uh, Va Valerie. Valerie. Hello. I want to say uh, people so lazy, <laughs> so we can Hello. so lazy. Hello, Valerie. Hello, uh, hello, Valerie. Hello, um, uh, gosh, Alexander, Luba, and Michael. Mishka. And yes. Misha and Michael. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. So well, it's nice to see you. Nice to see you too. So nice to see you're, you're in Moscow. Like the, I'm talking about this communication problem. I notice it a bit in Moscow too that people are losing the integrity to talk to each other, to speak, to communicate, to use their bell. They're using WhatsApp, What's Now, the uh, 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 Viber, Skype, everything. They're losing their way to communicate, and I think this will be causing problems in the future. If, if it continues, well, what do you think? Well, uh, I personally don't think uh, so anything badly about uh, new technologies. And I think that it's up to people to decide which way of communication they want to use. And in, m in my opinion, uh, the more uh, options uh, for communication we have, the better it is for us. Uh, so for me, it, it's... Uh, well, I, I, I can try uh, any means of communication, so... Um, How do you communicate with people? 
Well, in all ways, you know, um, well, I, I live in Moscow, and actually I'm not a Moscovite, so I come from another place. And, of course, I use uh, Skype, for example, to communicate with my brother. I use my cell phone to communicate with my mom. Uh, I use some social networks to communicate with my friends. So That's different. This is yeah. different than what I'm talking about. I'm okay. talking about... I'm I'm talking about that it's replacing the communication tool mm. because you're scared to talk to people another way. Maybe this is a different mentality problem, but I'm seeing this big problem in North America where people can't even talk to each other no more. They can only send SMSs and text messages, and a lot of times those are mi mis uh, misunderstood. I think. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Well, I, it's it's a problem. I think with mis misunderstanding. I I think you can only understand so much in an SMS. You know what I mean? You, maybe you maybe people read things wrong. Yeah, of course, uh, because uh, when you when you talk, when you speak, uh, a lot of information uh, can be uh, gotten or conveyed through your intonation, uh, like through through the tone of your voice. Uh, Absolutely. You can, you can express your your thoughts more accurately, yes, in a more understanding way for those people you talk to. Yeah, that's right, but uh, SMS uh, messages have their own language and have their own symbols to express love, you know, different emotions. Uh, you, you can express, uh, you can use uh, different symbols to express your emotions in uh, SMS messages. Well, the, there was a study done, done in Canada, and, and, and this was reported that people, the reason why they have so many Facebook friends is they're not even their real friends. They're people they don't know, and that they do it so that they get more, they feel better about themselves. You know, they have more confidence in themselves. Uh, they become more, uh, not egotistic, maybe more self-centered, that they, they get more confidence. And I think this confidence is fake because it's, it's, it's with people they don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah, you, yeah it's, it's, just, utterly, it's utterly stupid. I never, I never, uh, I follow my own rule that I never add any strangers to my friends uh, on social networks. So that's my principle. Why should I add them? Because uh, from time to time, some strange uh, girls, half naked, uh -huh. asked uh, ask <laughs> uh, to ask me to add in uh, to my friends. So I, I see no purpose. Yeah, first of all, I'm a married person. And I uh, have no interest for other women. And uh, secondly, I don't uh, trust uh, such uh, strangers. I don't. I don't know what purposes they uh, they um, try to get. You know what aims they try to achieve. You talk about trust, uh, Alexander. Do you trust people? Or are you like, what What do you want from me? I you're, you're you're you you want something from me? Are you that type of person, or are you easy to talk to? Alexander, your microphone is off. He's, I think he's talking with the microphone. Uh, sorry, I, um, I, I don't, uh, I didn't understand. Uh, could you repeat question? I asked you, uh, do you trust people normally, or are you like uh, very reserved? You know what I mean? Like it's it's hard to trust people these days. Everybody is out for themselves. Everybody wants to steal something from somebody. Maybe a kapilka. I don't know. Kapilka. <laughs> uh, what does it mean? Trust people. Trust. Verit. Verit. Ah, verit. No, I don't trust uh, people who I don't know. Of course. Uh. So how do you trust people then? Sorry. Uh, uh, how, uh, how do you trust people? How do you trust them? How do I trust? Them? How do you trust people? Sure. How does a pussy cat? How does my Chester trust people? He, he's <laughs> <laughs> this is so it's so funny. <laughs> really. How how does he trust me? Look, well, my friend, <laughs> my friend here, my friend. <laughs> how does a cat trust people? Luba. How does a cat trust people? How, what, they, what do you have to do to it? I suppose cats uh, don't trust people. They are, they are very, very... Uh, Protect oh, Protect independent. Independent. Independent, independent yes. Na nature. Creatures. Creatures, yes. Oh. Thank you, Valeria. 
but that's good that they don't trust people. Maybe someone will do something bad to them. No, maybe. In the wild, I, I mean, you have stray dogs there, right? Still, is that a problem? Stray dogs, in in the neighborhoods. Straight. Stray. Uh, stray. 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 Dogs uh, which uh, don't have uh, their masters and they live in in, in streets. Ah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. No, don't have this problem. Mm, no, no, we don't have nowadays. No. All right. So, so uh, Alexander, talk. Uh, how how does a how does a cat, for instance, trust people? How do, how do you get something to trust you? What what do you have to do to that person, or that something? What do you have to do? What you need to do uh, uh, after uh, after uh, maybe uh, Michael, repeat it please more slowly. Okay. Okay. What what do you need to do for a cat to trust you? What do you for need to do first? For a cat to trust me? Yeah. Uh, um, I think uh, I need uh, to to give he, uh, them some tasty food. Food, <laughs> Yisha. <laughs> food is his friend. Okay. Yes. <laughs> it's his friend. It's his only friend. He don't want. He doesn't want my rabbit. He doesn't want me. He wants Yisha food. That's it. He will be your best friend. So I think it's the same with people too. Luba, what do you think? You know, to to, to trust people, you have to earn the you have to earn the trust. What do you think about this? Oh, with people, it I, I suppose it doesn't work with people. <laughs> Not, you always. Know, not not every time. <laughs> With the homeless people, yeah, but okay. <laughs> mm, it's a difficult question. Do yes, you trust you, people? You, no. No, probably no. I'm, I notice I'm, people I notice people in Eastern Europe, they're less trustworthy, like of, of people. Why? I don't understand. Maybe somebody can can give me an insight in, in this. Why why is this? Why don't we trust people? Uh, Michael, yeah. I, I guess there is a reason. Uh, it has to do with history, uh, with uh, some genetical background, because uh, we are descendants of uh, the Soviet Union people who lived in a closed country, and um, especially in the 30s last century, there were uh, the era, there was the era of great uh, repressions and nobody trusted nobody because um, friends betrayed their own friends in order to be saved in yeah, order to, I heard to survive so. yes in order to survive so there was a great disbelief and uh, so I guess that this comes from those times and uh, people tend to be closed-minded and uh, tend to not to believe anybody, but to rely on themselves. Mm, and uh, and we can remember the 90s, you know, the crime time, c criminal time in Russia. So, and Ukraine too. Yeah, because uh, a lot, all, nearly everybody in Russia and the Ukraine uh, had to deal with uh, some criminal uh, gangs or uh, some schemes, you know. Um, which uh, try to extort money from the population, uh, promising a lot of benefits. They just uh, they uh, borrowed some money from the population and never gave it back. So it was a, a cheating uh, financial scheme, like uh, MMM company. Maybe you've heard mm -hmm. of uh, Sergei Mavrodi. So uh, thus, it's no no surprise that uh, we. Uh, Russians and Ukrainians tr uh, tend not to believe anyone, but uh, it's better to believe uh, only yourself. Mm -hmm. And I, I think in, in Western Europe, people uh, are more uh, uh, naive. It's like, it's like I, I, I can tell someone something and they'll believe it, but if I say someone to someone here, it's like uh, they need some proof. Like they need, they need some evidence. Ba Babushka doesn't believe what I say. <laughs> but, 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 I, I, I am the enemy to Babushka. Uh, she wants to say, how, how does this work? She needs a reason for everything, right? So I, I guess maybe that's good in a way. Maybe that's as well. But you know what? As well as if I go on the auto bus, like the trolley, right? All, if one Babushka is carrying some piquette or sumka, 
and she pushes another babushka uh, by accident. All, all hell breaks loose. There's Armageddon, swearing, everything. I, oh, boja, boja. I'm like, wow, look at this, like that. I, I wish people could get along better. I wish people couldn't fight because you only have one life. You know? What, what do you think, Alexander? It's better to get along with people than to fight. About... Right, right, Chester. I agree. I agree, there, Chester. Chester agrees with me. <laughs> Alexander, what do you think? Uh, sorry. What, what, what you asked? What your question? Some people like to fight all the time. Like my, the babushkas I know, they fight over stupid thing. Who stole my kotoshka? Blah, 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 blah. You know? I, I think it's better to get along with people than to fight over stupid things. What do you think? Sometimes you need a good fight. What's your opinion? What does it mean, sir? Uh, along people? To get, to, to get along. Yes, ah, yes. okay. Yes, Sorry, phrasal verb. I think it's better to get yeah. along. <laughs> uh, how how do you get along with people? What do you, what do you do? How how social are you? How social? Mm. You're very social, Chester. I know. Uh, <laughs> uh, I try to never fight with uh, people because it's nothing good in this. Uh, and are are you the person? If you get lost, do you ask for help? Or you never ask people for help? Do you ever talk to strangers on the Marshutka bus? No. Yes, I know Marshutka bus. Um, uh, what question, sorry? But uh, do you talk to random people on the bus? Maybe people you don't know if you're lost? Maybe maybe you don't know how to get to this place. You know, Maybe you're lost. Uh, do you ever ask people for directions? In Marshutka we usually speak about... Uh, Money, what you want, we want uh, to re-give to the driver. Pedidaiti, yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Luba, Luba, how do you socialize with people? Yes, I'm, I'm, I would say that I'm very um, sociable, talkative person. Uh, I can ask some information, and it happens very often so that people, people come to me to ask something. Mm, yes. Are you always small? Uh oh. Some I, people. I, uh, sorry, can you repeat? I I haven't heard you. Are, are, is it because you're always smiling? Because some people in, in Kiev, they look like they had a bad day always, but I think that's their normal look. Like, don't don't bother me type of look. Do you know what I mean? Are you always <laughs> smiling? Do you, do you look approachable? You know, like, okay, you can well, ask probably me. Probably, yes, yes, probably, yes. I have a simply, simply um, complication, not uh, simply face, so to say. Okay. Friendly, friendly face. Friendly, probably. yeah. <laughs> yes. Ben ben benevol I mean. Benevolent look. And, and what about for you, Valerie? Uh, you can see my chest is very social. He <laughs> Uh, as for me, I'm quite a mm, close-minded person, so I'm not into socializing, and uh, I don't like chatting. Um, I, I like speaking to the point, and uh, I'm not very talkative. So, and I, I think that people not so often come up to me in the street and ask for directions. Uh, it never happens, no? Sometimes it happens, sometimes it does. But, uh, well, I, I'm always in a hurry, and uh, I never look at anybody, and just just I keep walking, you know. Yes, and because uh, uh, there is such a bustle and hustle in Moscow. And, uh, hustle and what? Can't explain this hustle and bustle. <laughs> I like this expression. No one, I never heard it used in Ukraine. Explain. Oh, hustle, hustle and bustle. It means uh, that uh, there is a lot of uh, there are a lot of people in the street, and it's uh, rush like rush hour, you know, when people uh, too too little space and too many people in the streets, and they tend to uh, push each other, you know, with their arms, you know, and that's that means hustle and bustle, like in the subway we have, yeah. And people are more, in, in, in Moscow, it's like more pushy, get out of my way, right? You know, like, move, move. 
Yeah. Day, day like that. It's 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 not friendly. Is it? I I guess. Do you, do you feel it like it's friendly, or do you feel like people are always in a busy and you can't get to where you want to go because there's too many people? Do you really feel like good at the end of the day, or is it doesn't bother you? I take it for granted. Um, I, I I take it normally because I understand uh, other people. Uh, it's natural for me, and I I, I have got used to it. Um, so I, it doesn't bother me anymore. Yes, and first, and then I, I'm a very calm person. So it's um, it's quite difficult to drive me crazy. <laughs> How difficult? <laughs> it's quite difficult. It's it's possible, but it's quite difficult. Well, so, you were telling uh, us a situation in Spain with uh, your, your 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 situation when I was driven crazy. Yeah, no, no. Wait, like, uh, you wanted uh, to get into a fight with somebody in Spain. With your child, ah, right? in, no? Greece, in Greece, Greece, Greece. Yeah, that that was a situation when I was driven crazy because mm -hmm. I paid money, I paid bills in that restaurant, and I wasn't allowed to use the restaurant uh, inside their restaurant because there was no toilet on the beach, right? Uh -huh, so uh -huh. I was really, and uh, that was my first experience in Greece because uh, before uh, I had been uh, to Turkey and Egypt uh, and. Uh, there, uh, I, I, I had never uh, faced such service, so I um, it had never struck me that in Europe, in this uh, European European Union, it could be much worse than uh, in Egypt or Turkey. Can so be, can be. It's a, it's a risk, even even in France, even in Canada, mm -hmm. it can be. It's just uh, it's it's luck, I guess. It's really luck. You know that that's like if you go to McDonald's and you can't use their washroom. Uh, you know, I, I always go to McDonald's not to not to eat anything, but to use their toilet. So I'm very thankful that there's yeah, a McDonald's. It's really exists. comfortable. Mm -hmm. Very comfortable, absolutely. That's a one. That's another thing. There should be more public washrooms in Eastern Europe. That's I guess that's another thing as well. Uh, mm -hmm. What else about family? Is there a family day in Russia? Does a family day exist? Yes, yes, it exists, but. I cannot remember the the date, but <clears throat> well, yeah, it's uh, it's in summer, uh, some day in summer. It's called uh, mm, the the day of uh, marital um, loyalty, love, and families. Some something like this. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. it's. In, I think it's important. Yeah, it's it's a new holiday and uh, not uh, really popular, but it's getting more and more popular. So I think that uh, this is a worthy holiday, and uh, uh, I, I, I would um, shake that person who invented such a holiday <laughs> because it's a really good one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what what about marriage? What how how uh, like in, in Moscow? There, I'm going to ask you first because you're living in Moscow. Do people get married? Uh, what age do usually people get married at, or are they hesitant to get married? Mm, yeah, most of them are hesitant about getting married, and people tend to get married uh, uh, in their thirties, in their mid thirties. So not in their twenties. Well, well, I I don't have uh, accurate statistics, so I'm quite subjective in my opinion. Some people get married in their twenties, so it really depends. Uh, Alexander. T tell us, tell us where you're from again. Uh, sorry. Where you're? F tell us where um, you're from again. I am from Ulyanovsk. It's Russia. I, I know, but Russia's so big. I don't I can forget. What's Ulyanovsk. Uh, <laughs> it's on the Volga River. Yes. Volga River. Okay. All right. Like that. Uh, in in your area, what age do people get married at? What age? Um, uh, I think in the uh, list. Twenties, uh, usually twenty-nine, thirty. Twenty-nine, thirty. Yes. And and how long are usually couples together before they get married? How many years are they together? Uh, usually two, three years. <laughs> so in Russia, you you, because in Canada, oh, I got too many people here. I got a cat and rabbit. In uh, uh, <laughs> Every day. Uh, I guess it, so. In Russia, you you get together for a couple years and then you get married. Because in Canada, it's like you find a girlfriend 
and, or a boyfriend and for a couple years, and then you get engaged, and then you wait another two years to get married. That doesn't make sense to me. Luba, do you understand what I'm saying here? Yes, yes, I understand, but I, I, I don't understand the reason. Um, because uh, they are um, gathering money for marriage, or why it happens so? To, to wait to see if it breaks up so they don't have to get married. Ah. <laughs> maybe, maybe they wait to see uh, which way the wind blows. <laughs> <laughs> I like that expression, what way the wind blows. Yeah. I like that expression. Maybe they're waiting for a better match. <laughs> well, then that would be cheating. <laughs> <laughs> well. uh, so you said twenty nine thirty, like that, something like that. What? So Alexander, what? What about like at twenty twenty two? Girls, girls there don't get married at that age anymore. Uh, yes, uh, it exists. Uh, it happens too uh, that young people uh, are married. Uh, but they then they younger then they often uh, divorce. get divorced. Yes. Uh, and are are you married? No, no. Mm -hmm. You're you're waiting, eh? Yeah. <laughs> I wait <laughs> for more constantly waiting. <laughs> yeah, Alexander, you, sh you should be working on it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and and Luba, what about there? When when do people usually get married? Mm, I suppose in their middle twenties. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I I mean in in North America it's like oh it's bad to get married when you're young it's oh, it's it's ushes, like it's shame you know I I I don't see nothing wrong with it what's wrong with getting married at young I think the problem is people are selfish and they only think about themselves. Perhaps um. they they are not thinking about themselves they are they want to. To first of all, to get education, then to find a good job. Uh, after that, to um, to earn money, and only in their middle thirties or at the beginning of forties, they they started they start. Uh, to have family, yes. Isn't that too old though? Like when you're 40 to start like, to get married, it's, not, it's sounding like I, I, I mean, I mean German people. Oh, I don't yeah. know how it's about others, but I know that in Germany, yes, um, they get married too late, in my um, opinion. They <laughs> probably, and especially children, yes. I, I suppose it's too too late to have children. To, for 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 women to have children in in forties Bur birth defects. <laughs> you know, yes. Yeah. Yes. I I I don't yes. know. I, I I think people are being selfish because you know in, in 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 my society people just think about themselves. So why get married if you don't care about the other person and only care about yourself? You know what I mean? Valerie, you understand? What, you know yeah, what I mean? and uh, there is a child-free movement uh, all over the world. Yeah, there are more and more people who uh, can get married, actually, uh, but they are mm, certain not to have any children, and so they uh, live for themselves and uh, taking the best out of their lifetime. <clears throat> yeah, but, you know, I don't know. I, I think almost everyone wants to have kids, no? I mean, mm, it, not uh, Quite many people don't want to have any children. Why? Uh, there is uh, such a movement which is called child free uh. why uh, they uh, maybe they were born in uh, in a big family and they had they have a lot of siblings and they uh, recall their childhood which wasn't uh, lucky uh, probably and so they don't want to have any kids and they just want to live for themselves and not to be involved in uh, raising kids and uh, having difficulties financial difficulties you know uh, you know and uh, I can understand them because uh, I have a son and I should say that raising a child especially uh, when he's uh, several months old that's a crazy time you know yeah but, but it's responsibility I, yes I like it is yeah it is in yeah. North America we're very lazy now very lazy I'm telling you uh, you, we're 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 creating a generation of stupid people. 
and I can see. You know, people who who just care about watching TV all day and not about real life. And our, our parents back in the day, they raised us because they were more responsible and mature. Do you see how people act when they're in their 20s? They act like little kids, like L Malenka Detena, like children. You know what, Detena, like that. Mm -hmm. And maybe that's more Ukrainian. But they act like little kids. So how can a little kid have another kid? You need to be an adult to have children. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think you should be mature. Well, what do you think, Luba? I think you're very mature. What do you think? You think you're, you know, you're, you're, you know, you act mature. You try to act like uh, a grown-up, you know? Sure, I am, because I have a... I have a daughter. I, yeah. I, I understand my responsibility, and I um, I, I uh, have uh, thought uh, about um, getting uh, a baby. First mm -hmm. of all, I have plan. I, I have planned to. Ah, uh, you planned. See, most yes. people they don't even plan. They just ah, here we go. Here comes the abortion. You know, with some people these days. You know, this is this is the big problem that we see. There's you see. I, I don't know. It's sometimes it's even hard to plan too. But okay, you you plan, all right. And mm -hmm. I, I even when I talk to Ukrainian mothers, some of them uh, no Ukrainian girls even at their twenty, like they want to have a family. They don't want to have kids. That's what they think about. You know what I mean? I, I, that's good to be family oriented because uh, in, in Ukraine and Russia, people are having less children. I notice there's a a birth. What do we call this? Like a, a not a birth delay, but. Birth, birth crisis. Uh, yeah, yeah, something like this. I don't think we're having enough kids in in our these countries. I think that's a big problem. People aren't having enough kids. Mhm. Mm but the problem is that um, uh, women who uh, who don't want to have uh, their uh, children in a young age, uh, and after that, when they are already forty. They want, they are like being ra uh, much mature, yes, to have children. They cannot, yes. they cannot already, they cannot have them because of um, health or maybe, yes, they have some problem in this age. Well, when I, when I talk to like Ukrainian women in their 23, 22, they're, they're much more mature than women that I talk to in Canada. You know, like they know what they want in life, you know what I mean? And, Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure it's, but some girls it's changing. Uh, this new Western culture, it's for me. I, I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of it because uh, it, it, it tells us to do whatever we want to do. You know, like who cares? Who cares, right? Do whatever you want to do. But I think in life you can't do whatever you want to do. For every action, there's a consequence. Alexander, what do you think? You agree that for every action there's a consequence? Alexander, I see a nice Mishka. <laughs> I see. I, I see nobody. I see nobody too. Well, I see a Mishka though. It shows a Mishka. Alexander, he took his microphone off. Alexander. Yes, I'm here. Was it, was it was it Michael who switched off the video? No, no. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Alexander, uh, well, welcome back. So, we're, we're talking about family, raising a family when you're young. I, I think the problem is people, they're, they're not mature for their age. I mean, they, they want to do whatever they want to do. I, I think that's bad because for every action, there's a consequence. Do you know what a consequence uh, means? No. Can, can someone explain? <coughs> like, <coughs> consequence. Последствия. Последствия. Consequence of what? For every action. For... What? Okay, so for everything you do, there's a consequence for it, right? Uh, and, yes. And I think the problem is people aren't responsible for the consequences that they, uh, the actions that they do. I think that's the problem. That's the problem with the maturity. What do you think? Are people there, are, are people, are they, do they want a career? Do they want a good job? Do they want uh, to have a family? Or are they, they don't care, maybe they just want to drink, maybe, or watch football all day. Can you tell us in, in, in where you're living now? It's a little bit different. Um, I can't understand about what problem uh, we say. Can, can, can someone help me? <laughs> Luba, Luba. <laughs> you speak uh, too fast. Maybe uh, try to do it slowly. Yeah. And uh, we can uh, understand. Yeah. 
All right, all right, I'll speak slower. So I said maybe because people are not mature because they, they're not responsible for the, the actions they do. They don't care what they do. They do whatever they feel like doing. Mm-hmm. It's not about Alexander because uh, <laughs> uh, maybe... Uh, yeah, I think we know what's on situation when 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 people uh, have uh, some problems, they uh, try to uh, uh, how to say it, maybe, uh, to be uh, coincident, coincident, Yes. Well, I, I'm just saying that people 20 years ago were more responsible than they are today. What do you what do you think? Uh, uh, talk. Uh, Valerie, what, what do you, you do? You agree with me? People were more responsible 20 years ago. Mm, in 1994. Okay, well. Mm, I guess I, I won't. I won't agree. And well, it, it's uh, really hard to make such generalizations, uh, comparing different periods. Mm, I think that I, I, I I'm liable to think that uh, people are always just the same. Um, I think people are becoming more lazy. What you don't think so? I don't think so. Mm. Nowadays, well, for example, in Moscow, even in Moscow, uh, people have to work hard to to be uh, their uh, the breadwinners of their family. Um, so people have to, f well, for example, comparing with the Soviet Union time, uh, people. Get their s fixed uh, salaries, and uh, after their working day, they um, had nothing to worry about. So I mean that their future was quite safe. Or they believed that it was safe. Nowadays, it's really um, there are a lot of factors, and the, you have to think uh, everything uh, about everything. You know, uh, because raising a child in Moscow is really expensive, and the life in Moscow is ex is very, very expensive. You, know, you have yeah, you have to save money all the time, and you think you always think about money and about future. So I don't know. I, it it makes people really responsible. Mm, unless unless uh, you are an alcoholic or a drug addict, you if you're a normal person, you have to think all the time about your responsibilities to yourself, to your you know, family, to your relatives. Yeah, well, like like I said, we we brought up the fact that people aren't having as many kids as they were. They're not having a family, and I, I think it's because uh, you know they're not they're only thinking about themselves. I, I think in our, uh, people are being more selfish than they are, and that's true. We can see with different generations, uh, generation X, Y, and Z, uh, they're much more selfish than the past generations. We can tell. People used to think about others. Now they don't. They don't. Luba, you don't agree with me? Mm, you don't think I, people are becoming more selfish? I quite agree with you. Yes, uh, probably they they don't think about others, but um, in in the Western countries, they they think about uh, their um, relatives a lot enough. Uh, probably, probably not a lot. And it's hard to say. Yes, more selfish. Yes, I, I agree with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, that's the. The big problem that that I see uh, in our in our society in general. So yeah, you got to, uh, yeah, to 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 stop it from happening. You you just you have to block it out. You know what I mean? You you can't just uh, allow all this information to come to you. And uh, if it comes to one country, it comes to every country because everyone wants to act the same. And that could be that could be very dangerous. That could be very dangerous in our society. All right. So that is all the time we have today. It is close. It's actually close to 10 o'clock. And uh, please check the schedule and even my profile for more information about me. Uh, Michael, Next. yeah, I got a personal request to you. Sure. I, I would uh, really be happy if we have uh, one uh, more native speaker uh, on this website. So if mm -hmm. you have some friends, so. Mm, you can invite them to, to to this website and to be teachers for us. Well, it it it's hard because uh, a lot of people in Canada they have a uh, different time zone. Yeah. Okay. So it's a different yeah, time yeah, zone altogether. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I see. I see. Okay. So please uh, look for my info, my my profile, <laughs> uh, my profile, 
for more information. All right, so Chester, goodbye. Chester runs away. <laughs> Chester, Chester, back out. Chester is spot. Yeah. Chester is gone as well. Sleep tight. Sleep tight. That's what we like to say. Sleep tight. So everyone, please have a have a good evening or a good dobranich there, and uh, we'll see you next Thursday at nine o'clock. Kiev time. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Thank you. Good Bye. night. Bacau, bacau. Goodbye.